Hi, I'm Eric Diego, and I'm a less than famous YouTuber living in the San Francisco Bay Area. Over the last two and a half years, I've been producing weekly content for my YouTube channels. So when I first thought I was posted asking for submissions for the Less Than Famous panel at VidCon 2015, I instantaneously knew I was a perfect fit. However, to explain why, we have to dive deep into my past. Back in the mid-90s, when I was about six or seven years old, my family had purchased our first camcorder. At the time, I thought nothing of it, but that all changed one day when I helped my two brothers recreate a TV show using the camera in stop motion. Over the following years, I would attempt to create similar videos, but even then I would be overambitious with the project and it would ultimately fail. However, unlike some people, this didn't deter, but yet inspired me to continue. By my junior year of high school, the new media wave was starting. It seems like overnight sites like YouTube, and one of my biggest influences at the time, Revision 3 were born. At the time, I was focusing on school and wasn't even thinking about creating videos other than the ones we needed for classes. However, once again, that all changed one day when I talked to my friend Patrick. Inspired by shows like System and Hack 5, we discussed creating our own project and technology-based show. It wasn't until the following year when we were able to borrow a camera and film our first episode at the first ever Bay Area Maker Fair. To this day, I remember staying up all night editing, recording voiceovers, encoding, and releasing that first video. And although YouTube existed at the time, it wasn't until months later I uploaded my first video. At that point in time, I officially became obsessed with creating online video. During my college years, I continued to come up with ideas for shows. I even took a few television and cinema classes that advanced my filming and editing techniques. Between the fall of 2006 and 2011, my friends and I attempted to film numerous videos. These videos include follow-ups to our Maker Fair video and was presently our cooking series Ready, Set, Flambe. Unfortunately, without time and decent equipment, it was impossible for us to release any videos. It wasn't until January 2012 when my friend Sean suggested we go on a road trip that got me to finally purchase a brand new HD camera. Later that year, my high school friend Joe and I took the shelf cooking show idea and filmed the first 26 episode season. Finally in October, our main channel ended up media launch featuring a five part, two hour long mini series from that road trip earlier that year. Additionally, we started releasing our weekly short format cooking show Race at Flambe every Thursday. I'm so grateful for my friends who put up with my crazy professional filming videos over nearly the last decade. I'm also grateful for my family, friends, and small community for supporting the videos I've done. Even though I may not have the numbers of some other applicants, I do have one thing, and that is a drive and tremendous passion for creating high quality content for everyone to enjoy.